Yeah, air going across the metro through Kansas City generally heads east with the jet stream. As Brian was mentioning, now this is the track of the storm. That air pushing on the storm, that cold front could shove it out more towards the Atlantic or more towards the Gulf, depending on how things shake out, and that is what they are measuring. So that it's baselined properly. Audra Henneke is getting ready for the next flight to 100,000 feet. It's basically a box full of instruments. The radio sounds calibration is essential. It's a very strong storm. It's one of the strongest. For 24 hours, Irma has sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. It's heading right for Florida. So that they can plan ahead properly and evacuate people as needed. Make sure we've got the right amount of gas. And this is where we keep all our hydrogen in here. Normally, the National Weather Service in Topeka launches two balloons each day. 50 weather service offices across the country are doubling the launches. This one with the dome is our humidity sensor. Which will more accurately alert people in the storm's path, saving lives and property. See how it's going from the sensors gather humidity, and temperature, and GPS location during a 90-minute journey to the stratosphere where the balloon pops. You good? Meteorologists in Kansas and Missouri are doing their best to warn those in the path of the hurricane. We know of the devastation that is possible for our coastal neighbors, so we are eager to help in whatever way that we can. And that is why they are doing all those tests. Now, balloon and sensor, each test costs about $325, but that will make a much better reading, which is priceless for the people who are looking at Irma coming right towards them, Chris. Not every National Weather Service office launches these balloons. Kansas City's office does not but they do in Springfield, Topeka, Dodge City, and Omaha.